What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're going to be breaking down three different free video editing software, aka free video editors. The ones that we're going to be breaking down that I've chosen today are the most common topics on my channel in terms of free video editing software, and that is Shotcut, HitFilm Express, and DaVinci Resolve. These three video editors are what I would kind of call the, uh, the best free video editing software on the internet. And um, unfortunately, they are not created equal, like, like at all, all right? And uh, you know, some people obviously go into this category, the, the free video editing software category, and think that they could just grab any of these and it's all gonna be cool. Um, it's not, and this is uh, you know, actually where a lot of people are getting frustrated and running into problems and seeing this is, this is, uh, this is hands down probably the biggest topic on my entire channel. We got to set you guys straight. So today we're gonna to break down what's the best free video editing software for each individual person, the 2019 edition. And the categories I'm gonna be doing it by is essentially performance. So how well each of these editors will perform on your computer or your laptop. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, now, editing with lag sucks. Trust me, I know about it firsthand. I've been creating videos since I was 10 years old. I'm 20 now for at least, you know, the first let's say seven, six years maybe, something like that, or five to six years, I was dealing with pretty bad equipment. And uh, you know, then I maybe around my 15th birthday got a good computer, a 16th birthday, something like that. Um, and uh, you know, then obviously it would wither, wither out and then I would buy some good equipment again, maybe like uh, eight months ago, something like that. And now I'm dealing with some really nice equipment. Um, and editing with lag sucks. I know about it 100%. And a lot of you guys are going through this because unfortunately you're going and you're grabbing a video editing software, but it's not the right one. So. The question is not so easy to answer. What's the best free video editing software? It's really case dependent, all right? So if you have a really good computer, the best free video editing software for you most likely is DaVinci Resolve 16, 15, whatever version you wanna get, it's up to you, but you know, the new version is 16. Personally, my favorite free video editing software is DaVinci Resolve. And um, you know, it's because uh, it's just uh, the most kind of used, uh, the most kind of um, native to what I'm used to, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, the best, is like I said, hands down without without a shred of a doubt, Resolve or HitFilm Express. But the best for people may, who maybe don't have the fastest computer in the world, the most powerful computer, whatever the case may be, is probably Shotcut. Even though we have to kind of jump into the system requirements of that too, because the 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 kind of untalked about maybe uh, you know topic here in this or the most untalked about subtopic of this topic is that. Video editing is an extremely intensive process, unless you're putting it in there and putting a title that says, uh, you know, you know, title number one, right? And then rendering it with just a title because you just needed a title. Uh, with the exception of just that, like it's a pretty intensive process. And uh, you know, you can't just rock up with some, you know, random computer that you found on the street type of thing like that and uh, kind of crack on in the most efficient way possible as a video editor. That's just being a thousand percent real. It's just not gonna be an enjoyable experience for you if you don't have, uh, you know, up to the standard equipment. You know what I mean? If you don't have up to kind of standard equipment basically. So what I've done is I've actually taken the system requirements, the absolute minimum system requirements of these top free video editing softwares and put them in the description. No links, nothing. You can go down there and they're clearly titled all the actual system requirements so you can compare it to your actual computer and basically don't have to download and waste time, especially some of you guys have you know bad internet as well, so you'll spend hours downloading it and installing it and then it, you know, it's clearly not the right one for you because you got one that you can't even run. Nightmare, I, I, you know, I've been in your position years ago and uh, honestly, I empathize with you heavily and I, I don't want this to happen. So this is like a resource essentially, but Shotcut in the essence is the easiest to run on slow computers. And uh, you know, even Shotcut though, I believe their system requirements, they're gonna say a very minimum of four gigabytes of RAM, but if you wanna be editing anything smoothly, a very minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM, even up to the 16 gigabytes. And I think if you've got about 16 gigabytes of RAM, an i7 and, um, you know, a, a pretty good graphics card, that's like the sweet spot of running programs and, uh, and video editing really, really smoothly. It's about 16 gigabyte of RAM, an i7, and you know, a nice, a nice series graphics card, you know? And uh, if you've got that combination, you're not gonna be running into much trouble, especially when you combine it with an SSD. Uh, but if you really don't have a setup like that, which the majority of the people watching this video unfortunately don't, um, 
you're almost certainly going to be setting yourself up for a little bit of lag, unless the gameplay you're editing or the um, you know content you're editing is uh, low quality or something like that. You are probably going to run into some lag. And again, I'm just not trying to get anybody hopes up here because a lot of people are getting very frustrated because maybe they're going into it, you know, not expecting what to uh, what to expect. But Shotcut, you can just download straight up. So it's the easiest to run and it's the easiest to download. There's no messing around. So if you want Shotcut, the link will be down below and uh, I thoroughly endorse it. I've made plenty of videos. I'll leave some tutorials linked next to it if you want to check it out. Next two is DaVinci Resolve and HitFilm Express. DaVinci Resolve is a uh, one of two versions, right? So if you go there, a lot of people download DaVinci Resolve Studio because it sounds like the more official one, but it, you know, it is, you're right. Your guess was 100% right. It is the more official one. So more official that it's paid. It's not the free version. So don't download DaVinci Resolve Studio. Download Beta 16 if you want to get a, a lower down version, Beta 15, Beta 14, whatever the case may be. Get DaVinci Resolve Beta. That is the free version. If you download Studio, I can't help you. Uh, <laughs> it's paid, man. I, I don't know. So heed my warning. Make sure not to download Studio. HitFilm Express is the free version. HitFilm is the paid version. So make sure not to download HitFilm. Make sure to download HitFilm Express. And even further to that, make sure to activate it when you actually download it because or else you'll just be using the paid version and it'll put a weird watermark on it and you'll get frustrated and comment on my video. Hey, you, you, you lied to me. It does have a, a watermark. It's not free. And I'll respond, you're pretty silly because I, you know, you need to activate it and they'll be like, oh, my bad. And um, that's a scenario that's played out in my comment section 10 times a day. <laughs> Anyways, that right there is more or less what is the best free video editing software. I tried to break it down per category. Short answer, for the slow peeps, Shotcut is the one. If you've got a laptop with not the most RAM, not the best graphics card, not the best processor, Shotcut is your best bet. If you do have a up to kind of uh, industry standard system, whether it be a laptop, a, a computer, whatever the case may be, DaVinci Resolve is personally my favorite, DaVinci Resolve Beta. And um, HitFilm Express is also a phenomenal editor as well. I know plenty of people who are even freelancers who you know swear by HitFilm Express and absolutely love it. So those two are your best bets. Thank you guys for watching the video. All the programs will be linked down below along with accompanying tutorials. So if you choose the program that you've decided upon, you can then follow through the tutorial and the system requirements for all of these three editors are down below. I hope I've done a good job of kind of exploring the different benefits, downsides, and overall the requirements at the end of the day because I was kind of you know the, the real point here is just to showcase to you not all of these are equal if you're on a laptop that's not very fast you can't download all of them you've only got one option really and uh, it might be still a little bit tough right there and um, my final closing words if you're thinking about really doing some serious video production in the future and you don't have a high-powered computer put a little plan together to get one because I promise you it is a major headache going through that lag and those crashes and all that type of stuff. And I believe me, I speak 1000% from experience that creating content, trying to be efficient and uh, you know, overall producing video content, which is a pretty intensive process, uh, is not very enjoyable if it's not going very smoothly and if you're dealing with lots of crashes and lag. So let that be known. All the information is downloadable and uh, linkable down below, not even linkable, it's linked. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Peace out. All right, so the video's over. I literally just did the outro right there. And, uh, you know, I didn't quite make it to the 10 minute mark, which, if you do not know, videos do far better performance, whether it be not just money wise, I'm talking about actually getting on the search results and, uh, you know, being promoted a little bit more if they're 10 minutes long. So I'm being real. I'm letting you in on what I'm doing, but I'm trying to get this video to 10 minutes. But it's not super selfish, it's as for you as I can do it as for you as possible. These videos right here are three different options that are totally relatable to this video right here. The guide essentially to picking your uh, kind of best free video editor. I actually talk about a couple different ones in these videos right here, whether it be stuff that just doesn't have a watermark or, uh, you know, stuff that, um, you know, I've talked about in this video as well, but going a little bit more in depth and overall just kind of a little bit more thorough videos, I suppose, but at the end of the day, you know, if you've watched this video, you are fully equipped to go pick the best editor, but these are just some videos over here talking a little bit more in depth, and some ones talking about some different ones as well, and uh, overall, basically, a little bit of help to you if you want to find more videos, definitely help to me to get this video to the 10 minute mark, and that's two purposes serving in one, two birds being killed with one stone, even though uh, we do not support animal violence. Thank you guys for watching, take it easy, later.